What's up, Mavletic lovers and listeners, and welcome back to another episode of Maverick Postgame. We've got another full show for you today as Mesa football plays a close game. And the men's soccer end in a tied game. Plus, an amazing win from our women's volleyball. And the club women's rugby team gets so close to a victory against a D1 school. All of that and so much more as we move ahead into this recap-packed episode of Maverick Postgame. So with that being said, I'm your host, Grace Metcalf. And I'm Stone Quinn. Let's get into all the game-breaking stats, off-the-wall wins, heartbreaking losses, and in-depth analysis of our CMU Athletics. Roll it! Hello everyone, once again, I'm Stone Quinn. And I'm Grace Metcalf. Let's hop right in and take a look at all the Mavs tactic action that took place this week here at CMU. Last Saturday, the Colorado Mesa football team have an unfortunate loss by three points. Julian Eisen put the Mavericks on the board first in the game on a 13 yard scamper where, the, where he broke three or four tackles on his way into the end zone. It was the first touchdown of the season for Eisen and was set up by two long receptions, one from senior Dagen Ranks and the other by freshman Jackson Brush. The Mavericks added on in the second quarter, this time on defense. Hudson Metcalf delivered the trifecta as he forced a Riley Bennett fumble, recovered it, and sprinted 71 yards for the touchdown to give the Mavericks a 14-0 lead with 6 minutes and 20 seconds to play in the quarter. After scoring the last 14 points, un unanswered Black Hills State came back and erased the deficit in a little under three minutes. Just one play later, the Yellow Jacks had a 92-yard touchdown to cut into the lead at 14-7, with six minutes and two seconds to play in the quarter. Eisen put the Mavericks ahead just before the end of the first half of action as he caught a short swing pass from Karst Hunter and he took it 16 yards for the score, giving him a touchdown on the ground and through the air. Black Hills State outscored the Mavericks 17-7 in the second half and got their first touchdown with 4 minutes and 48 seconds to play in the third quarter. Nolan Susel scored on his second one-yard plunge of the game. The Yellow Jackets took their first lead of the afternoon with 5 minutes and 11 seconds to play in the game on a Coleman Chapman 52-yard field goal, making it 24-21. Colorado Mesa regained the lead with 2 minutes and 23 seconds to play as Hunter hooked up with David O'Connell on a 25-yard touchdown pass that capped a seven-play, 70-yard drive that lasted just two minutes and 39 seconds on the clock. That setup the, led the Yellow Jacket heroics late in the game as the Mavericks come back and Hail Mary in the final 43 seconds fell short. As a team, the Mavericks managed to have more rushing yards than the Yellow Jackets, 151 to 128. Overall, the Yellow Jackets were more successful in the overall statistics, where they had possession longer than the Mavs, as well as passing yards, 296 to 185. The Mavs will be back in action this Saturday here in Grand Junction. The Colorado Mesa men's soccer team ended in a tie after Connor Durant saved a penalty kick to keep the Mavs within striking distance. Shane Bryan scored in the 89th minute to follow CMU to come away with a point in a 1-1 draw against UCCS from Community Hospital Unity Field. A sluggish first half saw neither team collect a shot on goal until the 42nd minute when UCCS forward Colby Rainery fired a low central shot that CMU keeper Connor Durant scooped, sc scooped up the visitor appeared poised to take the lead just two minutes into the second half after winning a penalty kick. But Durant dove to his left to deny UCCS midfielder Marvin Putu before the CMU defense took care of the rebound, although Durant's clutch save kept the score tied for the moment. 
the mo mountain lions found the net 12 minutes later. Leo Morales, playing a left back, sent a cross into the box that skipped through everyone. Ryan, who had entered the match for the first time just 10 minutes earlier, was unmarked and ran onto the ball near the right. Connor of the six-yard box, after taking a controlling touch, Brian finished the bottom left. Connor passed Doman, who had stomped 27 of 29 shots prior to that. Ponce Casas nearly had a chance to win the match in the final seconds, but a UCCS defender made a key tackle just as the freshman was preparing to shoot. As a team, the Mavericks... UCCS outscored 11-6 and collected three shots on the goal to the Mavs one. The Mavs gained more corners and had more Mavs and had more saves than UCCS Colorado Mesa moves to 5-3-1 with a 0-1-1 record in RMAC play. For the fourth time this season, the Colorado Mesa University Maverick volleyball team quickly bounced back from defeat as CMU swept visiting Colorado Christian University 25-22, 25-22, and 25-23 in a key Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference match on Saturday afternoon here at the Bronson Arena. The Mavericks then jumped well out in front of the visitors in the second set, going ahead 10-1 behind some tough serving from freshman defensive specialist Allison Waller. However, the Cougars valiantly clawed back into the set and tied it at 14 and again at 17, 19, and 20. CCU's Lily Woods helped the Mavs win the second set on yet another Cougar serving mistake into the net. The Mavericks then jumped out to a 10-5 lead in the third set before the Cougars went on a 4-0 run of their own to pull within one. However, another service error stopped the run and allowed the Mavericks to keep their lead, which they did until a 3-0 Cougar spurt put CCU ahead 19-18. As a team, the Mavericks finished with a 38-32 edge in total kills while taking full advantage of 11 Cougar service errors to claim the three-set sweep, their ninth of the year. The Mavs also had a slight .133 to .121 advantage in team attack percentage and a 35-34 edge in digs. Both teams had 10 blocks while the Cougars tallied 7 service aces compared to 5 from the Mavs. The Mavericks fell short in what became the first nail-biting of the season as they fell 36-31. The Mavs took on the Division I Colorado in a cross-division matchup Sunday at Business Field in Boulder CU. S scoring early, just minutes after the kickoff, but CMU answered right back. The Mavericks were first to score of the half, taking the first lead of the match. Just four minutes, CMU made sure to get the entire team some minutes in this match, making adjustments with 25 minutes left on the second half. CU capitalized on some gaps and scored back two back tries with just over 10 minutes left in the match. Zelly Moore earned her hat trick and again showed her speed to even the match out at 3-1 to one with just minutes left after a series of unfortunate events. The Lady Mavs saw the match slip away as CU won the kickoff back off a solid ruck and touched the ball down as the time expired. Now that we have recapped some of the games, it's time to announce our Maverick of the Week. Our Maverick of the Week goes to Chris McElroy. Chris was the star of the game last Friday in the, hockey's te in the hockey team's open home opener, making 51 saves as the Mavs frequently found themselves down a man on the penalty kill. Congratulations, Chris, for your outstanding performance. You are Maverick of the Week. We are now at the end of our show, and it is time for our closing statements. My closing thought is on how excited I am to watch our football team go head-to-head -head against rival team Western College. It should be an exciting game, and hopefully the Mavs can finally pull a win because this would be a great time to do it. I agree. I can't wait to get lots of amazing highlights of the game. My closing thoughts are the tennis team. They have been performing so well at away meet, so I can't wait to see how well they do playing here in Grand Junction this week. 
I do look forward to seeing how well they perform. Now that we have wrapped up all the action from this week and given our closing thoughts, it is time to close the show. Thank you everyone so much for joining us this week on Maverick Postgame. I've been your host, Grace Metcalf. And I've been Stone Quinn. Be sure to go check out our channel 62.2 for more games and updates. We'll catch you next week on an all-new recap-packed episode of Maverick Postgame. Stay safe, Mavs. Study hard. Go to a game or two. And of course, have yourselves a most amazing day.